and we're back with the fruiting conditions part two video. I just wanted to give an update on the tubs that I showed in the last video. These are from yesterday, which is six days after the original video. And then the last few videos are going to be from this morning when I, right before I made this video. So some things I left out in the other video, like when you actually put them into fruiting conditions. Some people wait until the substrate is fully colonized. Um, some people wait until they see primordia. And some people just put them straight into fruiting conditions after they spawn the bulk. This next tub coming up got contaminated with what I believe is trichoderma. Um, I don't really mess with contamination, so I threw it in the garbage already. I don't really want to risk like spreading the spores all around my workspace and grow space. Anyway, you want to keep a decent amount of humidity in the tubs when you're fruiting. Um, I don't really like spray the mushrooms directly. But whenever the walls dry out, like I'll miss the walls and the lid or the dub tub whenever it starts drying out. When I first put them into fruiting conditions, I usually just flip the lid and miss the top of the lid before I put it back down on them. And then I usually wait until some pens start to form and that's when I'll put the dub tub on top. You don't have to dub tub, but sometimes the mushrooms will grow like in weird directions so if you want them to grow straight up it's better to put the dub tub on there and again these videos are still from yesterday I haven't made it to the newer videos that I made this morning just showing a little bit of the progress like I said in the first video, I don't really fan or miss that much during the first flush. But like if you notice signs that your tub's drying out, like the mycelium will turn kind of beige color. Um, the substrate will get lighter. If it gets really bad, like your caps will start cracking. You probably want to miss then. And then with fanning, if you notice that the moisture is building up in your tub and it's not really evaporating, possibly causing pools, you might want to fan them out. Um, you can also add like a fan to your grow room just to move the air around more. And also if you notice the bottoms of them starting to get fuzzy, that's also usually an indication that they need more fresh air. You just want to make sure not to like overdo it or you'll end up drying everything out and then you'll have to miss them. I try not to mess with the tubs as much as possible because they seem to grow better the less you mess with them unless you like obviously have to. I would try to avoid opening them up too much because every time you open them up you're pretty much wrecking the climate that's in there. And then it's going to take a certain amount of time for the humidity and everything to build back up. So these are the videos I made this morning before making this video. As you can see, there's some pretty good progress going on in the bigger tubs. They're a little bit older than the smaller tubs. Um, I just recently got some shelving, so I finally moved everything out of the bathroom where I can get a lot better fresh air. So hopefully they should do a lot better. These are the steel magnolia tubs. They're still colonizing. Um, one of them is way further along than the other two, as you'll see in a second. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I'm still pretty new to this, but I could probably answer some basic questions. Again, I've only been doing this for about two or three months.
thanks for watching.